Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be plugging a monitor into my QNAP TS-453BE NAS. And this is part of a series I'm doing on the QNAP NAS. I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist. I'll also put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I hooked up the HDMI to a monitor on my QNAP NAS and I hooked in a capture card and it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm guessing this might have some HD content protection uh, turned on. So I took a picture of it and I'm showing it on the screen right now. So it says to go to hybrid desk station. So when you first set up the QNAP, it has a link on the desktop of the QNAP interface for the hybrid desk station too. So I'll actually click on that and I'll open it. And here it says uh, hybrid desk station. It has different apps that can be installed. It has the uh, desk station app. It has HD player, uh, Chrome, Clementine, which is a music player, uh, Facebook, file station, Firefox, LibreOffice, surveillance station, and a mu music station, QTS, which allows you to configure the QNAP, uh, photo station, QBR pro client, which looks like for Looks like that's for surveillance, uh, Skype, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, and Video Station. So I'll hit apply. It should install all of these, I'm assuming. So we'll try it out. Okay, so it's finished installing all of the apps. And I said before I couldn't capture the screen, but it's showing up now in my capture software, so I'm going to start capturing that. Okay, so I'll click my name and I'll log in. And so now we have a screen with all the apps we installed. So I'll click on Chrome. We'll try that first. Okay, so that works, and it also has the audio come through the speaker on the QNAP. So I'll close this out. I'll try QTS. So this is going to have our, this is asking for our username and password. So here we have the desktop of the QNAP. So you probably saw for a second there, it said system memory is very high and I need to add some more memory to this. I'll close this window out. Let's try LibreOffice. And here we can open up like a spreadsheet or something. I'm actually surprised at the performance of this. This is actually running fairly well for what it is. So at the top here we have, you can change your language. This is the audio settings. These are general settings. And then the logout button. So that's a pretty cool feature of this system is that you can plug a monitor into it um, and access, say, the web or anything. So if this was in your server room and you needed to, say, um, 
sign into a cloud resource to do some administration, you could open up Chrome on here and go to whatever website you want. So it's very versatile. You could also plug this in to your TV and use it as a media center type thing because you have video station, photo station, music station here, Spotify, um, and you can play videos from that. So this was just a quick setup of the hybrid desk station and to check out like what it does. So this is, if you're curious what would happen if you plug a monitor in uh, and what can you do with it, I'm just showing you that here. So if you have any questions about this or if there's anything you want me to expand on, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.